Hello, today I'm here with a new a video and for you who doesn't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty-free beauty YouTuber and today it is the second day in my minority week. I think it's Wednesday when you see this. Planning has never been my thing and I'm going to use the five palettes I have from Minardi and use them and just do something. I don't know if I will do a palette bingo with one of the palettes, I haven't decided yet. But today I'm going to play with the Feral palette. I will leave the first part up here when I played with the Dragon Child palette that is discontinued. This one is not. And I have both the old and the new version of this. If you didn't know, they switched out these two shades. It was two other more neutral shades in the beginning. But I have the palette as you can buy it now. And today I'm going to play with this, but I'm pretty sure that I'm only going to play with these three greens down here because I have done five looks with this, I think it is. First impression, three looks, one palette, and the palette bingo. And I have never done only just the green. So that is what I'm going to do today. So it's going to be a really simple look, but I really want now again a green eye and a dark red lip. So that is what's going to happen today. I might do, do use this shade to deepen it down, but I will focus on this in my crease that is Fenris, Ivy on my lid and Huchera on my lid as well. So it, it will be a half cut crease or should I do? Maybe not. Okay, I'm going to start with Fenris, this one, in my crease. So far, I know what I'm doing. So, I am going to take this in my crease. And I like this palette more than the Dragon Child. I think this has another formula. I know, though, then, when, I know when this palette came out people were some people couldn't like use it and I now I can understand why I always think of myself as like not experienced with makeup but to be honest I I played a lot with makeup I have no education or anything but I am really used to work with in the brands and it is difference between in the brands and mainstream brands it's just how it is and also it is a different between colorful shadows and neutral shadows but i can remember this is palette is pretty old i think it's so hard to like remember when palette has come out I'm not sure when this came out. I think I bought this on launch date. I bought this and Dragon Child at the same time. And Dragon Child I bought because so many of my YouTube friends loved it. I know that Annette, it has been one of her favorite palettes and um, she was absolutely one of the people that got me into menagerie. So when this came out, I was like, okay, I'm doing an order because it's pretty expensive for me as a Swede to order from the US. Okay, so this shade is done. I actually think that I will do a halo. I just don't know if I have any brushes so I can do a halo. But okay, I'm going to try this. So I will take Ivy on my outer corner and also in my inner corner. And I do not have any small brushes left. Yeah, this is pretty small. Maybe I can use this. So yeah, once again I need to clean my brushes. And I have done Halo Eyes with this palette, but not a green. And I usually don't do like the same 
like monochromatic halo eyes. I don't really know why. But maybe we will learn why when I've done this because maybe this turn out as shit. The right eye is always better than the left eye, but okay. So now I'm going to try to take this one, Hushara, I have no idea how this is pronounced. And I'm going to put this in here. I will try without cutting my crease, my hair, without cutting my halo, but I might need another brush for this. It's like I have done like this. These are all the brushes that I need to clean. And these are like all my normal brushes that I use. I don't know though if I might should have cut my crease, my halo. How hard can it be to like separate a cut crease and a halo? I don't know. But I think this works. I think this working. This works. Jesus. I took a bath earlier today and maybe my brain is all soggy. And I almost fall asleep in the bathtub. And I like was like this and I know no 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 I can't fall asleep in here. It could have gone bad. I guess I would have woken up if I did go under the water, but <laughs> maybe monochromatic halo eye is a thing. Because I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I am just going to go in with ivy, the dark green. And blend it just a little bit, but I guess this is the good thing with monochromatic halo. That like it's going to, they're going to blend together because both of them are green. So like it doesn't matter if I go over too much on to the mat with this shimmer. Is this going to be my new halo thing? To do only one color? Maybe, and I'm sorry in advance if that is going to be the case. And I think that the shimmers in this palette is a little bit different from the one in Dragon Child. They are pretty soft, but they are not as soft as in the Dragon Child. I think the Dragon Child shimmers reminds me a little bit of Colourpop's um, Super Shock highlight, or I only have the Super Shock highlighters, but I guess that the Super Shock eyeshadows are the same, and they do remind me a little so they or like a little bit of a mousse. It always sounds like I'm trying to say the animal mousse. Moosey consistency. Okay, I do really, really, really like this halo. I think it looks really good. So I am going, I have minimal fallout. So I'm going to fix my base and my brows and then we're going to do the under eyes and then we're going to take a beautiful dark red lip to this. Oh, the base is on and I guess for my under eyes, I don't know, I think I actually will go in with ivy. I think that will look best. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn this off because you know me. I don't want any fallouts. Okay, who wants fallouts on their face? So I think for my inner corner, I want to go in with one of the matte colorful shades. And I actually think I will go in with Night Eyes, this yellow one to have as an, I guess it's not an inner corner highlight, but a shade in my inner corner or does it count as an in corner highlight? I'm gonna see if this brush works for this. So I just want it in here. And I really love sometimes just to put like a matte shade as an inner corner highlight because I think it can look really cool. 
But okay, I really like this. I think this is... I think it goes together a little bit with uh, the shade S that are my halo. I know you get what I mean. So for my waterline, I actually think that I want to take a yellow pen. And should I take the yellow pen that I always use maybe? <laughs> Which is screaming from LA Girl. I don't need to sharpen that and I don't know where my sharpener is. So I maybe take this one instead or this one. I take this from NYX. This is Hot Dang. Because this I can screw up. I want to think this is not as... You know what? The sharpener is here, so I just have to move a little bit. So okay, I'm going to take Screaming from LA Girl. I think this is my, one of my favorite pens, actually. I I just really, really love it. So I'm going to put on mascara and a dark red lip. It's just a problem now. Which one do I want to take? I don't know. Okay, for my lips, I took this from Lime Crime. This is Feelings, and I really like this red. I don't use it that often, but every time I use it, I'm like, why don't I use this more? So, this is my second look for this week in my Minority Week with a Feral palette, and I really like it. I love the yellow in the inner corners. I think it, it made the look more fun, and might monochromatic halo eyes would be my thing but i have used these three shades and this one and i think this is a good palette i think you might if you are not used to work with pigmented colorful in the brand shadows this might be a little bit hard for you but it's nothing impossible they are pretty much kick up in the pants but I think this is a good palette, if you like the color story, buy it, and I love, I love the front of this. So yeah, I don't know what more to say, I think I'm just going to end the video here. The next video will be with my favorite palette from Nari with Whale Song. I have no idea what I want to do, maybe I should do a palette bingo then. We will see. But I really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!